ready in 60 seconds. Be advised. Today I wanted to talk once again about the future of the Titanfall franchise, specifically gunplay in Titanfall 3 and how I would like to see respawn handle recoil going forward. Don't get me wrong, I love Titanfall 2. I think in general, Titanfall 2 is a far better game than Titanfall 1 ever was. However, when it comes to the way that Respawn handled gunplay and recoil in Titanfall 2, I am not a fan. I have never been a fan and I think it's one of the least exciting decisions they made for titanfall 2 i think in general the effect that the current recoil system in titanfall 2 has had on the rest of the gameplay has been negative it has not been positive and any accessibility that was gained by streamlining the recoil system in titanfall 2 is greatly outweighed by all of the problems it caused with the rest of the game's experience in titanfall 1 we had an actual substantial physical and visual recoil system meaning that players actually had to compensate for the rise of the weapons muzzle when pulling the trigger in long short extended bursts this affected hit scan weapons greatly even single shot weapons like the g2 you simply couldn't spam the thing especially at long ranges or even in medium and short range and expect to actually hit your target with every single shot that of course is not the situation we have in titanfall 2 titanfall 2 has a sort of artificial recoil system where essentially the middleman that actual concept of virtual muzzle rise has been removed from the equation instead the player can see a decrease in accuracy when they hold down the trigger on certain weapons for an extended period of time specifically while hip firing but they never have to actually physically compensate for it themselves and in fact you can just ads most of these hit scan weapons and you are back to a situation where you have pinpoint precision firepower with very little bullet deviation and a very small decrease to accuracy the only weapon that ever actually had substantial accuracy substantial recoil was the Spitfire. That was the weapon at the start of Titanfall 2 that was really hard to use, that had sway all over the place, that had some pretty heavy recoil that the player had to try and manage. Unfortunately, that weapon was eventually changed and it is now the sort of murder, high capacity magazine monster that we have in the game today. Its only real restriction is the fact that it doesn't hip fire well while mobile. It is a monster when on the ground and especially when ADS'd. And this is just a small part of the many problems we see with gunplay inside of Titanfall 2 that have been caused by this sort of no recoil system. Now, one of the other big problems I have with this system is that it sort of streamlined all of the hitscan weapons. So for the most part, when we look at the different weapons in Titanfall 2, they're broken up into hitscan and projectile. Projectile weapons are typically more fun to use weapons. Some of them are actually extremely effective. Many of them are grenade launchers. The hitscan stuff, the only thing that's really separating it outside of its actual archetype of it being an LMG or sniper rifle or an assault rifle or a pistol is its actual raw DPS. There is very little happening with recoil patterns to separate these weapons from one another, which is why we very rarely see a player utilizing one weapon to suit a better play style, and we instead just see players using the weapons that have the highest DPS. This is a game that has turned into nothing more than who shot first and who has the highest DPS. Now, there are certain weapons that don't function well when mobile or when in hip fire situations which is why the lmgs do tend to be better off on the ground but as for the smgs and the assault rifles weapons that do work in both hip fire and ads situations when mobile or stationary there is very little to separate them yes the assault rifles don't hip fire as well as the smgs but when it comes to range capability again the diversity of the weapons recoil patterns there is nothing really going on there so the car the r97 they are absurdly effective at very long ranges they they make the r101 not really seem like it's actually an assault rifle and they make themselves as smgs seem like they might as well be assault rifles i mean the alternator is a great example of this yes i love that weapon but it's sort of horizontal recoil is pretty much all show the player can't actually compensate for the horizontal recoil on the alternator 
or the flat line. It's just there as sort of a small RNG element, forcing the player to tap fire to do short controlled bursts without ever really compensating for recoil. And that weapon, the alternator specifically, has absurd range capabilities because of its high damage potential and the ability for the player to simply tap fire it. There's a whole slew of issues with the range capabilities and what should be the strengths and weaknesses of these different archetypes. They feel for the most part like they're all blended into one because the player doesn't have to deal with that middleman. We don't have to deal for the actual compensation of real physical recoil like we got in Titanfall 1. Now, I'm not saying that Titanfall 3 should all of a sudden have a recoil system like we get in PUBG. We're not talking go full CSGO here. We're just talking about some sort of realistic recoil that forces the player to actually compensate for what happens when they pull the trigger, whether it's on a single fire like the G2 or a full auto like the R201. I think this created a much healthier gunplay environment in Titanfall 1, and beyond that, it created a much more rewarding gunplay environment, where it really felt like there was a level of mastery the player could shoot for across the different weapons and weapons and archetypes and where individual player skill was a little bit higher there was more to achieve there titanfall one because of gunplay alone outside of everything else the movement system all of that nonsense outside of all of that because of gunplay alone titanfall one had a much larger skill gap it was not as compressed as we got in titanfall 2. I understand that a lot of people might look again at this streamlining of recoil as a way to boost accessibility but I don't see the benefits being large enough to really strip away what is one of the most important, one of the most valuable components within a player versus player first person shooter experience. The negative effects of this lack of any real recoil can be seen throughout the experience in the ways that we've mentioned and also in, again, that overall compression of the skill gap and that really that lowering of the skill ceiling. There's just not enough for players to master who are really putting in hundreds and hundreds of hours into the game. You don't have that true sense of individuality and personality among many of the weapons, at least not to the extent that you should. And one could say that there is a huge issue between non-mobile and mobile players that could definitely be resolved or at least be slightly improved if we saw an environment where, again, real recoil existed as the middleman. Take the current situation in Titanfall 2. A non-mobile player can lock themselves down behind an A-wall and they only have to worry about two things. The capabilities of the DPS of their weapon and their ability to track a moving target. They don't have to compensate for recoil in the middle of all of that. It makes tracking a moving target that much easier. So you as a mobile player being faster and being more mobile, it isn't the advantage that it should be. And you have to rely heavily on flanking these targets, sort of dealing with them as their own individual VIPs, these really high tier threats just because of that. Had we had recoil, real recoil thrown into the mix, that player behind the A-wall with the Spitfire would have to compensate a lot more while also tracking his target. This would give the player on the wall a little bit more of a mobility advantage, but still put them in a situation where they were only going to succeed if they could also manage their recoil and get the shots on target that they needed to eliminate said target. It would do a lot for the time to kill as well. You guys know I've talked numerous times about feeling the time to kill is too short. This has a lot to do with it. Respawn doesn't really need to just increase the time to kill to increase the time to kill. If they gave us a substantial recoil system, players wouldn't be just hosing each other down with Spitfires and R201s and pistols and all these other rapid fire weapons with pinpoint precision. They'd have to work for that. They'd have to really struggle with that recoil at different ranges. They'd have to develop a true sense of weapon mastery and accuracy, and that within itself would increase the time to kill, and I think make firefights more enjoyable, and more importantly, make gunplay far more satisfying, far more skill-based on an individual level, in long term, just increase that sense of mastery for individual players when it comes to the gunplay. I can see nothing but positive changes coming from the return of recoil like we saw in Titanfall 1 in Titanfall 3. And again, when we talk accessibility, there are other areas in which you can boost accessibility, in which Titanfall 2 already did. I don't think we need to take such a substantial sacrifice to such an important part of a first-person shooter experience like weapon, gunplay, and recoil management. This is, of course, the opinion of one 
individual who plays a wide variety of shooters. Maybe my perspective doesn't align with yours. That's 100% okay. Regardless, I would love to hear your perspective down in the comment section below. That is, as always, the point of these Titanfall 3 theorycraft discussions. Let me know what you think of the game's current recoil system. If you played Titanfall 1 more specifically, did you enjoy that recoil system more than what we got in Titanfall 2? What do you think the positives and negatives could be of a recoil system like Titanfall 1 existing in Titanfall 3? Let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. You have been brought here for a purpose, the most important task of your life.